Welcome to I Love Stocks, and I want to talk about stock that I really do appreciate, and that is Tesla. We're definitely in the bullish scene again, and I think we're ready for a turnaround. Now, they do have a new infrastructure bill coming out, and there's going to be a lot of money thrown into the EV car sector with a whole bunch of charging stations, and then I think this stock's really going to go back up to its previous high of right around the $700 mark. That's my target. For Tesla, long, around 700. So we're going to kind of look at the chart, but there's some more news that came out on Tesla that kind of excited me too, and that was that Apple. Apple is, let me get back up here. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah. Apple will, will use Tesla battery mega packs at their California solar storage site in a report and I kind of that to me that's pretty good news because Tesla's just not only a car company they do all kinds of chip company they're a solar company they're a satellite company they just got all things going for them right now so yeah I'm bullish on Tesla and we're going to go straight into the chart but I do want to bring up one situation that happened a while back and that was Solyndra Joe Biden was in charge of Solyndra back then and it was a total failure. This was like a big scam back in the time. And I think America lost like $600 million through this here scam. So they're going to have a bunch of lobbyists up there trying to be fighting for what they want to get out of this bill. And we're talking about $2 trillion. That's a lot of money. Everybody's going to want a piece of the pie. And there is going to be some bad apples in that pie that are going to make it go sour. But I think Tesla... As strong as a company as it is, I'm really bullish on this. I've been bullish on it for a very long time. We have had a pretty good little pullback on it, and I kind of stopped trading it for a couple weeks, and then I started getting back into it here in the last couple of days. I'm long in my personal account in this trade right now, and I'm also going to be scalping it in my options challenge. So let's go ahead and look straight at the chart. I'm very bullish on this stock. And as you can tell here this morning, we're already up. So we're going to pull up the yearly chart and have a look at the yearly chart. Now I've cleaned this all of my, my extended trend lines, which I'm a master of. And we're going to try to find a resistance level on this chart. And I bet you, you I'll find it for you right here. The first resistance level is going to be right here, right around the 694 area. I think we'll hit that today or and they also, Tesla's got deliveries coming out. And they're going to be, I think they're going to be better than expected. And that analysts expected. Because they're kind of raising up their forecast too. And I think that's another good sign of it. Low support, no lower than right down here probably, I'm going to say in this area right in here. Where we had this pullback or this resistance high. I'm going to get try to get it exactly here. I'm going to magnify this up. We'll put another, put a trend line in here and erase it real fast. Uh, remove drawing. And I'm going to magnify this up so I can get this support level pretty accurate. There we go, right there, 653. That's no lower than that in case it does knife on us. So our next resistance on this chart, and I'm going to magnify this up so I can see it a little bit better. It's going to be right in here. And we're about ready to hit that. Well, we did hit that after hours. So we're, we're inching up there to that 694. Then I'm going to draw one more right in here. I like this spot right here real much. 684 something. We're going to pull this down to the 20 day. See if I can see anything on the 20 day that kind of alarms me. And we do have a resistance high on the 20 day chart right here at right around 711. So we're going to break easily. We're going to break this 700. Now, I'm going to be looking at the strikes on this call, and we're going to go ahead and pull that up, too, for today. I don't know if today's a great day. I might scalp it real fast today and then hold one over the weekend because I do believe this stock is going to go up higher. There's going to be opportunities for you to get in on the pullback, and that could be on the 20-day right here where it matches up on that bottom trend line at 653.82, and this is my SMA, the 200. Now, I'm going into March. I'm going to be swinging stocks a little bit more. Uh, April, I mean April, March was a kind of a 
a starter position for me in some swings. I kind of held some swings a little bit longer than I usually do, knowing that it was a scalping month. And I usually swung them overnight, or I held them no longer than five days. If they weren't working after a couple days, I'd go ahead and take get out, take my loss, and try to buy on the dip. So that's my strategy of playing. And in April, I'm going to be swinging probably a little bit longer, maybe to a five-day extension on my five-day plan, and then taking profit on that five days. Three to five days is going to be my, my goal. But that's the part of the challenge that I'm doing right now, and I'm trying to build that up. I'm, right now, I'm up almost 300% in that challenge from 1,000. So I think we can pull back, if we can, if it does, to this lower support. And I'm going to draw one more line right in here. I see a lot of, lot of support levels. I see one right here, and I see one right here. So yeah, definitely. Those are going to be my three supports and my three resistances into next week. We're going to look at the strike on this in here. And for April, you know, I'd be maybe looking right in here. This is going to be up today. So if I can get a pullback on this 670, I might go ahead and take it. 670 or the, or the um, maybe even get up here to around the 680. And then I want to see the volume here on the 700. I buy, might be able to buy a bunch of them here at the 700. And go on from. I figure this probably open up right around two or three hundred bucks. If it pulls back any, I might jump jump into that seven hundred, buy me about five, maybe ten calls, and scalp it today, and see what kind of uh, what I can get out of it. But I'm bullish on Tesla. Uh, we've got you know, Tesla likes these little EV credits. And I think people are going to take advantage of the EV credits. Remember they had that clunk for clackers or whatever they had back during the Obama years that was successful I think the average car during that period on the road was over 11 12 years old and they kind of bumped that up a little bit so cash for clunkers is coming back into the scene and also the White House is wanting to turn their whole fleet into EV cars and we're talking about over under 700,000 cars that could be turned over to the EV sector. And they're going to have charging stations at all these government official buildings to charge these cars up. So there's a lot of good things that's going to come out. I think Tesla definitely will hit that $700. And then when we break seven, we go to 750. And even that 750 call would be a good one to take. If you're going long, even get down here and watch this sucker today and see what it does. I'm really excited about Tesla. We're going to check it out. And I wish everybody a great day, and it's going to be number one on my watch list today, Tesla. And that's it for the market report. Remember the support levels, no lower than that 653, but I think this 670 will hold if it does pull back. But I'll be watching it, and the resistances to break are going to be coming up, are going to be 684, 694, and then that 711. And I like that number, 711. And then be looking at 750 long. And that's it for the market report. I wish everybody a great day today. Always remember, I love stocks. Miss Vegas is bullish on this too. Follow us on Twitter. You can see some of our secret trades that go on in here. We also have our stock Twitch links, our YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Ring that bell for future updates. And if you like this video, hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you have any comments below, I appreciate that too. I might have missed something or I might learn something from you as hopefully you learn something from me. Always remember, I love stocks.